Hi everybody, Sasha here on January 31st for Talk To Me Tuesday 23, I do believe. This is take two. The other one was a bit too long and I was talking way too much. But I only have a few things to show you. I've been working on the blanket as I said I was going to be doing granny squares. I had to relearn that, which I did on, I do believe, Wednesday did two squares that day and it's been pretty much two squares a day for the most part but I've got eight completed so far only two different kinds of yarn I can get like just about four squares out of each skein which is good first type that I did was Mexicana I did four of those it's pretty cool. You see more of the yellows. And I did four of the one. This is Monet. It's just a mixture of pastels. And so four of each of those colors. And I'm going to try and get four out of this. This is called Shaded Dusk. I use this for my scarf that I have yet to complete just needs the fringe and then I'll be done with my February UFO and this I don't know why it's called banana berry but you know I don't think they were thinking at the time that's that my brother's birthday was last Thursday my oldest brother Adonis and I couldn't think of anything to do and my computer's doing something odd. Okay, never mind, I fixed it. But I couldn't really think of anything to make him that didn't take forever. And my mom, as you'll see in her video, decided to make him a birthday cake, actually crochet it herself, her own pattern and everything. So I decided I'd just do a cupcake of the same color to go with it, my mom's idea. So here it is, it's a French vanilla cupcake, although it's um, soft white yarn and red frosting. So that's that. And I don't know. I have to go give that back to him when I'm done. And I know it's not February yet, but I've already completed one of two UFOs that I designated for February. One being my scarf, which is over here, if I can pull it out. Come on, give me it. My scarf. I just have to sew in the ends and put fringe on it. And the second one was my Full Metal Alchemist t-shirt. Sorry, I've got acid problems. But I don't think anybody needed to know that. And I figured, you know, since I'm like way ahead when it comes to the UFOs at this point in time, I figured I'd finish up on the t-shirt. I did that last Tuesday, a few hours after getting my video done. With being at work, I tend to put my video up late. And all I had to do was the lettering. I had to find my t-shirt first, which I realized was in my bag and not in the basket that I have. So, I don't have the stencil in hand, but it was the samurai stencils for the lettering. And I will show you that now. I didn't, I had to ask my one brother for help on how I should do the lettering. So I hope you can see this. So I just decided to do Edward down the one side and Alphonse down the other. And I did the opposite, so the center's red and the lettering is actually silver. And on the other side, the symbol... I don't like the way my room is set up. 
but the symbol is silver and the lettering is red. The one side says the Elric and the other side says brothers. My mouth is so dry. And then since the since most of the time you don't really see anything on the sleeves like with this one, there's absolutely nothing there. So I did if you can see it, the F doesn't want to really work. FMA for Full Metal Alchemist in red on that side. And then silver on the other. It's a little bit off, but you know, I'm not a artist per se, like perfectionist. So that is all I've done for crafting this week. So, what else? Anything else? Squares, cupcake, nope, that's about it. And my March UFO, which is going to be the Toothless on my Roomy, I'll probably end up getting that done pretty soon, so you'll see that whenever it gets done. I'm like way ahead because I've got nothing better to do after work. Just hang around and craft or read or watch TV or do whatever. So before I make this as long as the last one, I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend, a weekend, a very crafty one at that. And I will see you all next Tuesday. Bye.